Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe not your father's fruit punch by Small Town Brewery is the one for you. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So I picked this one up for Jessica. Um, uh, Hoffman Street Grocery, where I get some of my beers, um, was the only one in Three Rivers that carried this. So $1.99, and what was it, 5%? 5% ABV, not sure about IBUs. I'm guessing they're very, very low. Um, and that's about it. I think it's going to be good. <clears throat> However, we like not your father's root beer. That was like, that was our, right. our first. Yep. Um, but then I didn't like the ginger ale. You yeah, like the ginger ale. A, yep. Um, the mountain man, was that mountain? Mountain ale. Yeah. I whatever think. that lime green stuff is. That was really good. I don't even yep. like what mountain do. And then we did not, like, not your, <clears throat> it was not your mother's root beer. Rhubarb. Or rhubarb. Sorry, yeah. rhubarb. Yep. And that was weird. Um, so this is, like, the same thing. Yep. Oh! Have to, have to try them all. Can you it, smell it? doesn't it? matter. Yeah. Um, no head it, at all. <laughs> hopefully this will taste like a cherry jello yeah. jiggler. Or a fruit punch jello. Very red. talk today. Very clear. I can see my fingerprints on the glass. Okay, smell. I can. Bike right here. That smells like Fago Pop. Uh, I was going to say more of like a cherry uh, jello with like vodka. Like, because I can get some alcohol. It smells like a jello shot. It smells like summertime. Hmm. Okay, taste. This gets somebody into trouble. It'd get me pregnant. This is good. You remember? It's like staying in your face like Kool-Aid yeah. even. <laughs> it, to me, it right I'll go back it. in time. You remember Blue Maui? Yeah. There was a red version. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. I don't know if I ever had that. What, what did you use to make me Gilligan's Island? Oh, that was, yeah, okay. you're way off track yeah. there. So, no, I don't think I ever had the red. This is really good though, and it's it doesn't taste. I don't think it tastes yeah. a bit like alcohol. It's got like a, a a tropical fruit taste with a little bit. Like I wouldn't say it's like alcohol, but it's alcohol. It's not like burning your throat, but you can tell that there's like vodka. I keep going to vodka. I don't think so. Actually, I think that I think the smell of it and the smoothness of it. Would remind you of if you made fruit punch jello. Like, you know how smooth it is? Like, that's what, like, the, it's, it's not, you know, it's light. It's just like water. Like, like yeah. it's not heavy at all. But the smell of it is just like if you're stirring right. jello over the stove. Like, this is what it. But I get an alcohol smell and taste. I don't. That's why I don't like liquor. This stuff's delicious. <laughs> um, for what it is, I guess, um... I would go with a 4.25 out of 5 for me. I'd probably go with 3.5 because I don't like that liquor taste. Um, <laughs> Your mouth is already red. So is yours. Hey guys. <laughs> now you the guys first are, one. It's yeah, the first review not, of the night. Now you Easy guys are going to know <laughs> how many we do in one night because our <laughs> our lips are going to be She's going to be falling off the stool. <laughs> you might have to go back and watch some videos because we might put those out first. I like this. I honestly think you couldn't go wrong. I am telling you. I mean, I, obviously, to, I wouldn't consider this a craft beer at <laughs> I all. I can't even like it. <laughs> it's, I don't think it's supposed to be a craft beer. Well, it's on a beer. Yeah, beer. but, it, eh, you know. Um, so, I mean, you, you can't call it a liquor drink. It, it's almost like hooch. Yeah. <laughs> is what it's like. It's like family trips in the summer, except now you're in Vegas and you can't find your friend Randy. I bet Heather would like this. Yeah. <laughs> this stuff is really good. Um, I would give it like 4.75 because there, I, I would give it even a 5. There's nothing I would change. I think it tastes good. It doesn't taste like alcohol. It doesn't smell like alcohol. 
I think that after I had a couple, it's for me, it's like the root beer. Like I drank two or three of them mm. and I was like, oh my God, I think I'm going <laughs> to die. But I really, this is this, I knew this would be a bad one to start out with. <laughs> but it's good. I, yeah. I absolutely like it. I absolutely, if we can find a six pack, I'm getting one. Yeah. I mean, obviously, again, it's not your typical craft beer. Correct. So don't think. It, it's, yeah, it's not sudsy. It's not yeah, carbonated. Don't, don't it's not think anything. it's going to be like that. And again, it's a beer. I'm drinking it. I don't care. It's. It's we gotta good try everything yes. once, and Brad saw it and said, yep. "Oh, Jessica likes these." Yep. So, but and for a dollar ninety nine, technically, I think this is better. Some uh, better than some of the craft IPAs that you can get and other that books. I have bought. Yeah, that you have watched. Yeah, Juicy Tree. Batch eight thousand. Yeah. So I watched that review again, so it made me sad. That's why. <laughs> See, you can um, buy 16 of them for these. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> almost 43 uh, ratings on untapped, average 3.66. Why? So, for me personally, I said 3.5, <laughs> so I was close. Your, your lips are red, too. I know, but I see you. <laughs> so, yeah, but I think for what it is, it is a 4.25 out of 5. Okay. But for me, yeah. Well, I think that I, I enjoyed it very much, like I've said, like seven times. Yeah. And you could I, drink like ten of them in a row. Like you said, this could get me pregnant, but it can't. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So let's get a six-pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica, and I'm embarrassed. Happy brewing. <laughs>